Well, we got we got lots of a mixture of deer meat and pork from wild hogs and deer we killed during the past season. Uh, we bagged it up, put it in the freezer, and held on to it until we had a better date to do it. That way we wasn't so rushed during the season. And here we got a, uh, some pork fat we bought from a local butcher to mix in because those wild hogs are pretty lean. If you don't mix it in there, sometimes it'll get pretty it'll get too lean on you. Need some fat with your sausage to make that grease sizzle. So we got it all laid out. Fix and start mixing it up. We got a lot more than this. We I don't remember how many pounds of meat we got all together. Close to 200 pounds of well, that's pork and venison. So we're now we're gonna mix it all together. Yeah. Put the seasoning in it and get it on going through the grinder. There's your nitrates. Is that what it's called? Nitrates? Yeah. Nitrate and your sausage seasoning. All this right here is a mixture of deer and pork. All been killed in the wild. We're gonna mix it together. Sprinkle our special special seasoning on it. You flavor it to taste however you like it. And then we're going to run it to the grinder, put it in some casings, and then we're going to put it in a smokehouse. There ain't no special art to this. You just sprinkle the seasoning over the whole lot, and then you go to mixing it all up. Well, that's our preferred method, and if you don't like it, you can do your own. Make sure you get it all over the place. We like ours pretty hot, so we put a good bit of red crushed pepper on it. And that's not what all that you see in there is. That's, a, that's the Deer Camp blend. Make sure you get it covered good and then you mix it all up. Real good. Bottom Dan don't like it too hot, so it gives them the craps. You hear that? You put too much pepper in there, it will give you the craps. <laughs> that ain't all they give you. <laughs> <laughs> you <my> half ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be eating sausage with ice cream. It gets too hot. <laughs> Have the ring stain going on, and nobody likes that unless you're a freak. Mm -hmm. That should be some pepper. Mm -hmm. That's already got some pepper in it. All we need to do is mix it. And then you go to mixing it all up. And you don't scratch your eyeball after you get through mixing it up. <laughs> or anything else. Or anything else. <laughs> unless you just want that burning sensation. until you got it all thoroughly blended in there. When that's done, we're gonna send it through the grinder. And that's gonna mix it even further. And it's gonna be mighty fine. What we use to put that smoked sausage in is actual hog intestine gut, been cleaned out. We'll get it slid up on the tube and get the sausage run through that grinder and it'll feed out into it. Kinda looks like something, don't it? Looks like something kinda bad. That's actual hog gut though. All right, he's sliding the casing up on the tube. Show it full of water first where it slides. Yeah, get it full of water so it'll slide. That casing will keep it in salt water to keep it preserved. Feed the meat down through the grinder. Boom, 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 down out the tube into the case. It's an art, and we are scientists. Take the very end of that. Put on a gallon Take the very end of that gut and tie a knot in the end of it.
fire in a hole. You gotta drink a little <laughs> beer from time to time. That makes it slick down good. Let's roll. Not real fast, just kind of slow, man. You're gonna get them plump, about six inches long, and then we're gonna put the twist on them. And make a length. Twist it well. Right. You rotate the twist in that way you don't untwist the previous one. This is kind of going kind of slow. It's a small grinder. We got three grinders here. No, we got we got four grinders here. We're starting off slow though. The smaller one. But them small ones, the smaller throat, you got a kid around here, they can't run their hand down in there. When you're making sausage, you need a camp dog here. Because anything falls on the floor, it's hers. That way, you ain't got to clean up after it. You see anything on them floors, they do. And then. At deer camp, you always got to have a pot of beans and sausage going. That's a, that's a staple of our deer camp. For those of you that had never seen one, I'm about to show you our smokehouse. It ain't nothing special, but it ain't for anything other than smoking meat in it. You know, that's what it was built for. That's what we use it for. It's really simple. It's just a small building. Um, and here we go on the inside of it. We have it where it's sealed off. Like I said, nothing special to it. The main thing you got to remember about a smokehouse it's not made it's not intended to to cook the meat by heat you want a little old bitty small fire so we, we got this little ring of cinder blocks down here we'll have a little old bitty small fire in here all right and then we'll take wet hickory a pecan um, whatever it might be and we'll put it on that little old bitty hot fire produces all the smoke smoke rises up see this right here this basket here, it's just a wire rack we've got, just hardware cloth folded over. We'll put all the link sausages up on top of this. We've got to clean it out. It ain't been used in a while. We'll put all the smoked sausages up on here. All right. It's just suspended from the ceiling. Nothing to it. Real simple. All right. So you got your little old bitty fire down here. You put your smoking wood on it. It rises up. Not a lot of heat. Just smoke. All right. And then what we do, we seal this thing off. All right? The little building stays sealed off. All right? There's going to be smoke coming out on every corner of this little building. All right? We'll block off the, the bottom down there. And try to keep as much smoke in there as possible. Now... We're gonna smoke these sausages for probably 10, 12 hours on each batch we put out there. So it does take a little while. But those nitrate we put in the sausage preserves it. The smoke actually cooks it. You know, it's not hot, 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 because if you got those sausages hot, you get a grease fire and you could burn your whole, your whole little smokehouse down. Um, so you, you don't want it cooking by heat, you want it cooking by the smoke. And when you pull them off, they're good to eat, ready to go, and they're great tasting. And they are smoky. Right, preferably a little bit of space in between them, so smoking. A little bit of heat, very low heat. 
150 degrees most of the time. You just want to get it to 200 degrees one time to kill the live germ. Slow smoke, low heat. Don't let them overlap. Pain in the butt, but it's worth it. Mighty fine tasting, ain't they? Mighty fine. See them all laid out where they ain't got, ain't none of them doubled up. Air can smoke and get all the way around them. Get them good and thoroughly smoked. Sometimes the links kind of get crossed up. They just wiggle with them. It ain't no worse than a Rubik's Cube. Alright, that's that one thing. Let me get the other pan. We're going to build a fire down there in that little fire pit. It's going to be a small fire. But it is going to put out a lot of smoke. This is all one hooked together. <laughs> Good gosh. Oh Lord. That's when it gets to be a little trouble. Some of that casing is super long. Time and patience makes a difference. Anything worth doing, worth doing right. A little patience. And you'll be proud you done it. I'm going to have to pile them up just to get over to where I can get to them. Alright, we got the fire going. When you build your fire, don't use pine. Because pine's got a, it'll, it'll give me a little extra twang. It's got a pitch to it. You don't want that. Start it small with small pecan. Or whatever you're using to smoke your meat. That's what we're using is pecan. I want to show you how a little bit of fire we got in here. It ain't much, but you can tell all the smoke it's putting out. It's going to rise right up there. It's going to smoke those sausages really good. It's really going to smoke when we shut this door, because right now it's getting a little bit of air to that fire. As soon as we shut the door, get all the air shut off, for the most part, it's going to just kind of smolder. It's going to be some mighty fine flavor in putting those sausages. turns red and starts getting the checks on it, I mean it's done. If you can break it open like that right there with a little effort, that's good to eat. That's good. And that is. <laughs>